Hi friends! Welcome to Rainbows in Art! Oh, I love rainbows! They're like paintings up in the sky! Look at this amazing rainbow drawing! Didn't the artist do a great job? Have you ever seen a rainbow? They fly high in the sky all over the world! Many artists have been inspired by rainbows. This print was created by Patrick Hughes in 1976. It's called Over the Rainbow. Is this real or from his imagination? Hmm, how do you know? Joseph Turner painted this rainbow using watercolors in 1824. That's almost 200 years ago. Do you notice the rainbow's reflection in the water? Right here. Isn't that amazing? This painting is called A Rundell Castle on the River Run with a Rainbow. I do see a castle back there. What else do you see? Have you ever seen a rainbow room? Do you think it would be fun to live here? This painting was created by Saul Lewitt in 2004. It's called Wall Drawing number 1136. Do you think he painted that many rainbows? Wow! Nature inspires artists to paint rainbows. They are so beautiful and teach us about colors. Norman Adams painted this rainbow in 1966. It's called Rainbow Painting. Wow! Even turtles love rainbows. Have you ever seen a turtle wear a rainbow blanket? Whoa, I haven't. I think it's time for us to try making some rainbow art. Today we're going to make some oil pastel rainbow turtles. So you're going to need your box of oil pastels. You're going to need a black sheet of paper and a piece of scratch paper that you can uh, clean off your oil pastels on. So let's go ahead and get started. So to make a rainbow oil pastel turtle, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a color. And how about if we do one completely together and then after that you can do whatever you want on your own. So since I want to do a rainbow turtle, I'm going to start with the color red. Okay, so everyone pick up your red crayon. Can you find the red one? Now you're going to find a place on your paper. I think I'm going to go right here. And I am going to make a red circle and I'm going to use heavy pressure. I want it to be bright. So I have red. Now the next color in the rainbow is going to be orange. So I am going to find my orange crayon or oil pastel. So I'm going to find my orange oil pastel. I'm going to go round and round and round my red circle using heavy pressure. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so we are making a rainbow. So we have red, orange, yellow. Let's find our yellow oil pastel. And we are going to go round and round our orange circle. We are going to use heavy pressure. It will be nice and bright. Oh my goodness, look at that. Red, orange, yellow. Hmm. Red, orange, yellow, green. We need some green. Green is next in our rainbow. So go ahead and pick up one of your green oil pastels. And, ooh, actually I'm gonna to switch to this one. So 
So go ahead and pick up your green oil pastel and we are going to go round and round our yellow circle. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue is next. Let's pick up our blue oil pastel. And we are going to go round and round and round our green one. I am using heavy pressure again. Oh, it is beautiful. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I need purple. Go ahead and pick up your purple oil pastel and let's go around with purple. Oh, look at that. And let's sing our rainbow song to see if we have all of our colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. These are the colors of the rainbow. Oh, we have a rainbow turtle shell. We are now ready to turn this into a turtle. Somewhere on your turtle shell, you are going to take and put a half circle and put on a turtle head. There's my turtle head. I'm using heavy pressure again. We're making very bright turtles today. And then we're going to need a tail. So we have a half circle for our head and we are going to make a triangle shape on the opposite side. We travel across and we put in a triangle with heavy pressure. And now we are ready for some turtle legs. So let's put in one turtle leg here and one turtle leg here. Let's color those front legs in. So we have two turtle legs. And let's put on two turtle legs in the back because turtles have four legs. And I am just making kind of circle rectangle shapes. You can make the kind of legs that you want Oh my goodness, look at that rainbow turtle. And when I'm all finished, if I want to take a dark color and give it some eyes, I can. Oh, oh, what a beautiful turtle. Now, I think my rainbow turtle needs a friend. Now, I could keep making rainbow turtles in this order, or I could start to just have fun with different kinds of colors. So I think I'm gonna actually change to a different color this time. And I'm just gonna use any color I like, but I'm gonna first start with one dark circle using heavy pressure. And then I could go to another color. And I'm gonna keep going until I fill my whole paper with rainbow turtles. Oh, look at that, my rainbow turtle has a rainbow turtle friend. I think they need some more turtle friends. I'm going to make a few more. I made a baby turtle. Oh my goodness, I have room for so many more turtles. I am going to keep going. I really like going round and round and round. It's fun. And each of your turtles can be totally unique. Wow, look at my beautiful rainbow family. I have so many rainbow turtles. 
Now you might decide to just draw a couple or you might decide to draw a lot like I did. I could even fit a couple more if I wanted to. Now when you're all finished, the last thing you need to do is clean up your oil pastels. Uh-oh, I have a bit of a mess going on. So I'm gonna make sure I put all of my oil pastels back in my box. And if any of them are dirty, hmm, this one's very, very dirty. I'm going to take my cleaning sheet and I am going to see if I could clean it off a little bit. Get rid of all of that muck on my oil pastel. Oh, and this one is a little bit dirty too. I will clean it off a little bit. Many of them are okay though. If they are okay, I'm going to put them back in my box so I have another dirty friend. So your last job is to clean up and put all of your oil pastels back in their house. If you keep your oil pastels in their house, it will be easy to find them the next time you want to use them. And then if they're clean, it will be easier when you go to start your project. So I clean my oil pastels and I put them all back in their house with their lid on. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.